Hi everyone! So, today was the last day of class, well, okay, let me rephrase. Today I took my physics final, which is like my last like hardcore final. I have one more final left in a medical anthropology class, but it's an online final. So I'm pretty much done with classes and I'm really excited because oh, this semester has just taken a heck of a lot out of me. So, today after the final, I went and had lunch and, well, really like dinner, it's like five. And then I decided that I needed to go shopping. I actually was looking for stuff for all the men in my life, my best friend and my brother and my dad. I don't have them anything for Christmas yet. Yeah, I know. Um, I have my mom and my sister, like, everything, and my grandmother. They're done, everything's perfect, but, like, I have nothing for them. So I was planning on going shopping and finding stuff for them. I had some, like, really good ideas. I found nothing. I was really, really discouraged. So looks like I'm just going to be doing some online shopping for them, probably. I don't know. I might check some other stores when I go back home, but kind of stinks because that's not really what I wanted to do. But, oh, well. But I did shopping for me too so first place I went was forever 21 and my family has a big my mom's side of the family has a big like Christmas party every year and some of those people we only see once a year so you know you gotta look good so I got two things for that I got these tights that I'm gonna wear and they're black and they have these they look silver but these are gold little like not really studs but these little just like metal pieces you see all over so I have some red shoes that have the exact same gold pieces on them. I'm going to wear that. I'm going to wear a white shirt with a red undershirt, like red camisole. And I'm going to wear this skirt. Guys, this is not something that I usually would grab. Well, it is and it's not. It's a skirt with animals all over it. So we have a bird, a lion, a camel, a fish, an elephant like a porcupine, there's a rhino, there's a bird, there's just a plethora of animals. Just a circle skirt, I got a size medium, and I just thought it was so freaking cute because like anything with animals on it, I have to have it. There were like four or five shirts that I, I did not buy because I don't really have the money um, that I really, really wanted. I'm like, a zebra shirt, I have to have it because it's animals. <laughs> you want it? way to my heart animal clothing animal anything let's be honest but so yeah I'm gonna wear this I'm not sure how my mom's gonna feel about that but I'm gonna wear it and I'm really excited and oh it's just I usually don't tell you prices on stuff but I think y'all might like to know I would like to know if you if you have an opinion on it please let me know but these were 1080 which I thought was kind of expensive actually I mean especially for forever 21 I mean they're just like tights I just thought that was a little expensive, but I really wanted them, and like, I just got those because they would match so perfectly with the outfit. And then this was also 1080. So my tights and my skirt was the same. This is a size medium. Because I'm not a tiny little girl. It seems like everyone that I watch on YouTube, they're like, and this is an extra, extra small, and they're holding it up and it looks like play clothing. Not me, ladies. Not me. Then I went to Victoria's Secret. And I have two of these bags. I had turned in my um, Victoria's Secret award cards, and I had four of those. They were all $10, which is a little disappointing, but that's what happens. And then I also had a birthday one, so I had $50 there. And my Victoria's Secret was having a uh, buy two beauty items, get one free. And you had to buy at least five items that were over $10. So I bought, um, like, a pair of panties, but I'm not really going to show you all that because that's just kind of awkward. But I got this, and this is one of their gift sets, because the gift sets even were five, or buy two, get one free. And they were, this has five of their body sprays, and I really do like their body sprays. I just think Victoria's Secret is awesome for their fragrances. And this is, the only one I've ever really used is uh, Love Spell, which is the one in the middle. I have a ton of Love Spell, love spell stuff, so I love that, I know. This is Pure Seduction, which I've heard great things about. Coconut Passion, Love Spell, like I said, Mango Temptation, and Pure Daydream. So I'm going to try all those. I'm pretty excited about that. And actually, I had to, like, come back because they, like, charged me for all the, like, because I bought nine things that were beauty, so I was supposed to pay for, like, six, you know, get three free. But they, like, charged me for all the expensive stuff and then, like, 
gave me like three nail polishes for free. And so I went back and I'm like, um, can I get this fixed? Like, I'll just want buy the nail polish. Like, I don't know what I need to do, but like, I'm not going to pay that much. Like, the whole reason I bought these sets was because they would buy two, get one free. So, the guy was super, super nice. He was like, no, I totally understand. It should have been rung up the other way. And, like, they wanted to group it anyway. Does that make sense? So, he was really nice. I was really happy. But the woman behind me was not a happy camper. It felt really bad. And it was kind of awkward. So, yeah, that's my little story of my Victoria's Secret. This is another gift set that I got. And this just has three body lotions and three body sprays. And these are in the scent Coconut Passion. So, this is an overlap of um, one of the fragrances in that, but I didn't think that was that big of a deal because it's the only overlap. Amber Romance and Vanilla Lace. So I'm excited because like I said, the only one I really use is Love Spell and I like to branch out. I've been like using pretty much the same fragrances. That's all for this bag. For almost like since I've been using fragrances. So I like to branch out a little bit. This is one of their $10 body mists and this was the Victoria's Secret Very Sexy and I got um, if you watch one of my hauls I don't remember when I got the Very Sexy Touch but this is just the Very Sexy it's not focusing on that I don't know if it's actually in the focus but that's it it's very sexy and so this red thing is $15 I do really like this scent I don't know if I'll like it when it's the Very Sexy Touch but Figured I should try that. It's like the original. This is the last set I got, and this is in Sheer Love. Um, and this is the uh, fragrance, the body uh, shower gel, and the body lotion. And I, I smelled this before, and I really liked it. And I didn't have this in any of my other trial sets, so I thought might as well get this, and it was free. Um, but these are all really good deals. Like this is only fifteen dollars. Um, I was actually really surprised by the deal. So if y'all are looking for like some nice beauty sets. Victoria's Secret was pretty good, I thought. I mean, you know, just my opinion. Plus, I'm kind of obsessed with Victoria's Secret. You know how I feel about my Target. I also have a Victoria's Secret credit card, and I really love it. This is um, a brand new scent, and this is not like the Eau de Perfume, or however you say it. This is like the Body Mist. So it's like got more scent, because it's like one of the like nicer scents. So it's got more scents than the other things that, like, more staying power than the other stuff that I showed y'all. Um, but I guess it's not as much as like the perfume. I don't know. But this is like their brand new and it's called the Bombshell Diamonds. And like their packaging I just think is exquisite. I just think that's really pretty and like classic without being like overdone. Some of their like big bow things I don't know how I feel about. But it's the Bombshell Diamonds and I'd never heard of it before and I think it just came out. So I'm excited to play with that. They didn't have the smaller body mist or else I probably would have gotten that. And then I got four nail polishes from Victoria's Secret. And this is what I was saying. They gave me like three of these for free and charged me for all of that stuff. And I was like, uh-uh, not doing that. And these are just some really pretty colors that I thought were pretty unique. This is called Envy. And it's like a, like a, it's a glittery color. Ooh, that is not what it looks like. It's like a green color, like an emerald greeny. It's got like a little blue. It kind of reminds me of the... O'Reilly or really however you say it mermaid tail just a smidge I mean I don't know the quality of these polishes polishes they're pretty expensive they're like ten dollars a piece but I got them because of the deal and thought they were really pretty colors and this is like a really pretty lavender and I really like it and this is just a cream color like a cream um so it's just like a matte or not matte but you know no shine or anything so we'll see how that goes this is a like glitter royal blue and I really really like this my school colors are orange and royal blue so I'll definitely get a lot of use out of this I'm really excited and plus I really like like a glittery or like I like something really fun on my nails not just like a plain thing and then this is a glitter like hot pink um it's kinda like a hot pink but it's definitely got some red in it it's showing up kind of true to color but not really um it doesn't really look orange. It looks like hot pink, really. That's all it looks like. And it does kind of have a duochrome effect to it, which I think is really neat. So that's all that I got at Victoria's Secret, which is a lot. And last but not least, I went to Target. I had some things I knew I was going to get um, for my siblings, and I just couldn't. They didn't have it, or they had it, but it's not really what I wanted to get. And I don't want to settle. 
So I think what's going to end up happening is I'm just going to have to buy everything offline. But I did get some really good deals on some beauty things, and I had to buy a couple other things anyway. These are Spa Perfect Hand and Body Lotions. They're just like the perfect size for your purse, and they were a dollar a piece, so I figured I might as well try them. And this is in Twisted Peppermint, and this is in um, Vanilla Sugar Cookie. And I couldn't smell them because it has like the metal thing on it. But I really like, and I think I'll really like these scents. I usually do in other brands. And, okay, like, I don't know, this is a little ridiculous, especially because I know I'm not, like, beauty guru, like, millions and millions of subscribers or anything like that. But, like, I do have subscribers, and, like, I don't know, I really love to make videos, and I feel, like, kind of a responsibility to try a bunch of stuff because I just, I just feel like I should. Like, I feel like if I'm going to make videos, then I need to be trying a bunch of stuff and, like, reviewing them and showing them to y'all, so... Whenever I find anything on sale, I always, well, not always, but I usually buy it. I also got these. These were in the dollar bin, too, and they're the Pond's Luminous Clean Wet Cleansing Towelettes. And I've never used Pond's, but I've heard a lot, a lot of great things about, like, their cleansing balm and things. But so I figured it's five towelettes for a dollar. Might as well try them out. See how I like them. Because I do use makeup wipes a lot. This, I don't know if this, like is going out because I got the powder and the concealer and it's the Revlon Age Defying with DNA Advantage and this is the concealer and it's usually $9.99 and it was on clearance for $6.98 and I got the color number two light medium that's what it looks like let me remove this giant clearance tag so you can see it um so I don't really know I've never really heard that much about this it's by Revlon if I said that um so I figured I might as well try that out and then I also got the Revlon um, Age Defying Powder with DNA Advantage. And this is in Light Pale. And it was on clearance for $8.38. And it's usually $11.98. So that's what it looks like. It's got like a double helix in the um, powder. So I think that's pretty cool. You know, it's, it appeals to the science working me. I was going to try to open it and swatch it because I feel like that would be beneficial. Oh man, my. Well, my nails are now ruined. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this open, guys. I'm trying. And I'm glad they package it well so people can't just, like, get into it because that's kind of gross. But. Okay, so. There we go. Oh, it comes with a little brush. Which, okay. I'm just going to say this because it kind of bugs me. People, like, always talk about how they never use. Oh. This is. This is a weird feeling brush. I don't know. I might try. I always try out the brushes. Usually I don't like them and then I'll use my normal brushes. But I always try them out because they're free anyway. And I feel like so many people are buying brushes like this. Like the Eta from NARS or there's a MAC brush like it. There's a bunch of things. I'm like, they're so perfect. Oh my gosh. And I'm like, why don't you, like, people use it for bronzer. Well, like, I know all the Benefit Box bronzers come with brushes almost exactly like it and stuff like that. So, I don't know. Maybe it's like really soft or something. But this isn't super soft. It kind of feels like um, goat hair. I don't, I'm sure it's not. It doesn't say. It doesn't say, but it is. And I, think, I don't know if I told you, but I got the color light pale, which probably looks a little light. But uh, the co next color up was like way too dark. Okay, I mean, it blends pretty well. It might have a little bit of a shimmer to it. It doesn't look like it does in the plan, and like I have so many swatches on my hand because I went to Sephora. This is that like NARS like lip pencil that everyone's talking about. I washed my hands like three or four times and scrubbed, and it's still there. I really wanted to get it, but I didn't because that's just not practical for me at the moment, which is sad. I got this because this was on sale, and if y'all watched my November favorites, you know that the Organics Coconut Milk Body Shampoo or Body Wash is like my new favorite thing. And they had the conditioner on sale, and it smells the exact same. Which I just love the smell of it. It's like a, um, it smells to me like a bag of, like, the crushed coconut that you can buy. You know what I'm talking about? That's what it smells like to me, and I really love it. And I love the way the body wash makes me feel, so I'm hoping that this has similar effect to my hair. Because I've been having, like, really bad hair luck. And then I got this. I've heard really good things about this product. And it was on sale. I think it's usually $12, and it was on sale for, like, 8 so I got it for like a, you know, a th one third off. So like 33 and it, oh gosh, oh my gosh, this is bad. 
How am I going to do this? This is the physician's formula, happy booster bronzer. Okay, so you have to do that. Oh my goodness. So, that's a mirror. There you go. There's, there's me. It's kind of like Inception. So it comes with a mirror. It comes with, again, another brush. And this is like pink and red. It feels the exact same as that other one. So it doesn't feel super nice. But again, I'm going to try it out because I never discount brushes because you never know if you'll find a good one and then you don't have to use one. It also comes with a powder puff. And then it's all these like hearts. And they will like move around. Like they're just hearts and they're like bronzer and they're different colors. They're all shimmery. So it's like for, it's not really for contour. You don't really contour with shimmer. Fun fact. I'm sure like all of you knew that. But just in case you didn't, I'm telling you. So I'm excited to try that out. We'll see if I like it. I've heard so many good things about Physicians Formula, and I've never used one of their products. So now I have. And again, on sale. I'm always going to buy stuff that's on sale, guys, because I have a problem. And then I bought three clearance nail polishes. These are all Sally Hansen Insta Dries, which I have used this before, and I really like the formula of it. Um, and this is a mauve color, but it's got some shimmer in it. It kind of looks like. It's definitely not just like a matte. And some mauve, and I think all these are really like seasonally appropriate. Uh, ugh, seasonally appropriate, so like a good like fall winter color. I feel like it's a nice mauve, and I didn't have anything like this. This I really like. It's like a coppery brown red color. It's deep. It's like a shimmer. I think that's really pretty. Um, it doesn't have a duo. Well, I don't think it has a duochrome effect. It's just like a shimmery coppery brown color. I think I'm really going to use this a lot and I like it. And then kind of um, same effect that this one has and it's a purple. So it's like a really shimmery. And these were all, usually they're $349 and they were all on clearance for $174. And it's like a deep purpley color. And it's not duochrome. That's just like the backlight from my computer screen. Uh, but it's really pretty. So I really like that. Um, and that's all I got. It is kind of a big haul, especially considering it's almost Christmas time. I wasn't really planning on buying that much stuff for myself, but it just kind of happened. Y'all know how it is. So, ooh, this is a long video. All of my videos are long. I don't know how people make short videos. They're like, oh, I'm going to do a haul and it's going to be five minutes. I don't know if I just buy ridiculously a lot more than other, other people or what. I don't know. So, whatever. But I'm sorry if that bothers y'all. I'll try. I mean, if, if y'all really don't like it, please let me know. I really, really, really would appreciate y'all's feedback. Um, but, I don't know. I'm just a really long-winded person. I like to tell y'all my stories and everything. So, that's all that I have for you right now. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I do a bunch of hauls, but the plan, and I'm really, really hoping I can stick to it. I'm sorry. I'm, like, messing with all these things because they're driving me crazy. Um, the plan is that I'm not going to do another haul video until the first of the year because I'm hoping, I asked for a lot of gift cards for Christmas this year for various stores because I know what I like and like my mom can kind of pick out clothes for me but she's about it like my dad, bless his heart. I love him but like he's not going to be picking out my clothes. He might take me shopping, that'd be nice, but he's not going to pick out my clothes. It's just not going to happen. So you know, I'm getting a lot of gift cards I think this year which would make me happy and so I'll probably have like a giant gift card haul. That's kind of my tentative play, but we'll just see what happens. Um, you know, never count your chickens before they hatch, guys. So we'll just see what happens, but I'm excited. Um, I'm planning, I know I say this every time, but in case you're new, welcome. And I am planning on doing a video pretty much every day this month. I am traveling on Monday the night, so I'm hoping I can get one up, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so please subscribe because you can see this, this face and... And this face every day. I mean, if this isn't a reason to subscribe. She was asleep. She's kind of like, why did you wake me up? If this isn't a reason to subscribe so, to subscribe to someone's channel, I don't know what is. Because she's my baby. And I love her. So, yeah, that's all I have for y'all right now. And I will see y'all tomorrow. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. Bye.